uh, I was invited um, from my Singaporean friends to join a filming session where we explore uh, Singapore. I was uh, pretty lucky to get to this group who gave us a pretty super insight into Singapore off the tracks, which I have not seen nothing of those things I experienced today. Oh, today today was spectacular, it was so much fun. Um, got to make new friends from the EU, take them around Singapore, show them things that I enjoyed about Singapore myself. I love it here. <laughs> Singapore is really nice. Uh, like back home, I like to do a lot of sports like badminton. I like to swim as well, I do basketball, I listen to music, watch movies and watch drama of course. And go to the library. <laughs> So there are these differences uh, of being a European who is used to a particular cultural pattern when coming here in uh, Singapore and finding a very different cultural pattern. But actually I find it exciting to see those differences. So okay, we first went to Toastbox to have traditional Singaporean breakfast, which uh, consisted of kaya toast, which I love, with butter, salty butter, and we had soft boiled eggs with it. Um, where you can pour soya sauce into it if you want and you just squirt it around and then you can put the kaya toast inside and just uh, enjoy the meal. soya sauce inside which like what are you doing man? If you try it with your friends it's, it's just normal but when you have someone to explain it why this one like that, why this one like that, you eat you must eat this one with what it gets it gets you thinking like oh so this is the real one you know and uh, we bought these t-shirts which are pretty nice yeah yeah, and then the super monsoon rain came up and we just ran. I think it was the biggest rain ever in the whole world. You know, it was a great experience. Uh, after that, we made our way to get some food at Circuit Road's uh, Hawker Center and for me that was one of the highlights. It's not so bad, right? Yeah, it's not so bad. Yeah, and the Singapore Western food is very special because it's nothing like Western food. Well, it's good. The meat is good. The is like It tastes like more. <laughs> At least. At least a little bit. Oh, good job. Yeah. Pineapples and some cucumbers. We had a rojak, uh, which was really nice with pineapples and apples and a, and a weird sauce. I like the dough. I said, there's some dough. Yeah, the, the fried yeah, dough. Yeah. Yeah. I like the pineapple. Actually, sports or true music, all nations come together, all have the same passion for the game of sport. We didn't score so good because we are not so in the training at the moment. Liga good. Tana, sub to Joe. Suddenly David was speaking Malay. I was shocked. I don't know how, but uh, suddenly I knew how to speak Malay. It was perfect. So many different people of different origin who live together from different religion. 
know, uh, and, and they can live in a kind of harmony. That's, that's to me, uh, something very interesting. Because it was my first time going to Europe, there was... I used to feel this hot winter, I mean hot um, kind of thing, right? The weather kind of thing. When I went to Europe, just the first day, the first time I touched the airport itself, it's freezing. <laughs> <laughs> I thought 15 degrees is like, you know the aircon 15 degrees? Mm -hmm. It's not, it's 15 degrees like 0. Point, I don't know, minus 0. Point something degrees in, in Singapore. It's crazy, it's crazy cold. You know, in, in my home university in Vienna, I think I've never had a group project meeting that lasted longer than, longer than two hours. So here I'm sometimes quite shocked. Like it, it, they discuss it again and again and again and again till we take down the points. That sometimes, yeah, it's just a new way of thinking. I think it's more that you discuss it more with your people. Connect to the locals, really try to see everything of Singapore. Don't just go to the places everyone knows or the tourists do. Really try to, to connect to the, the to communities, local communities. Everybody who makes it through the uh, admissions process must have an equal chance of being a happy and successful student.